Kate, Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William will arrive in Pakistan on Monday for a royal tour? This is why Prince George and Princess Charlotte won't join them on the official trip. Royal fans were delighted when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's son Archie Harrison joined them on tour and many may have been hoping to see Wills and Kate's brood with them on their upcoming Pakistan trip. However, Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and 1-year-old Prince Louis will all remain at home during their parents' latest royal tour? Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge will arrive in Pakistan on October 14 and carry out a packed schedule of engagements across the country until October 18. Kensington Palace has confirmed the tour will be the Cambridge's most complex yet due to ongoing political tensions in the region. Wills and Kate will seek to boost Britain's ties with Pakistan ahead of Brexit and learn about the nation's complex political picture. One royal expert has claimed Wills and Kate are perfectly suited to deal with such delicate diplomatic matters. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told Express.co.uk, The forthcoming tour of Pakistan by William and Kate is a visit to a friendly Commonwealth country which is likely to enhance the belief that in an area where there are sensitive issues, the Cambridges are the perfect choice. The Pakistan visit won't be the first time Prince William has visited a politically sensitive region, he was the royal to visit Israel and Palestine. Mr Fitzwilliams added, William visited Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories last year and this, the first official visit to one of the world's most sensitive areas by a member of the royal family, was considered a triumph. The security risks which this tour represents means Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will all stay at home. Mr Fitzwilliams added, their visit to Pakistan is a complex tour owing to logistical and security considerations and they will not be accompanied by any of their three children, two of whom are currently at school. Precise details of Wills and Kate's Pakistan engagements will not be revealed ahead of time because of the potential security risks. However. They will visit a string of community projects and meet political and business leaders around the country. Part of a Kensington Palace statement about the tour read, their royal highnesses will also spend time understanding the complex security picture in Pakistan. They will learn more about the challenges and opportunities, both of the past and today. The UK has been a key partner for Pakistan and the Duke and Duchess will meet UK and Pakistan military personnel who are sharing expertise to improve security. As with previous overseas visits, the Duke and Duchess have asked that this tour allow them opportunities to meet as many Pakistanis as possible. Over the course of the visit, their Royal Highnesses will meet a wide variety of people, including children and young people, leaders from government, business and the charity sector, inspiring conservationists and well-known cultural figures and sporting stars. It added, this is the most complex tour undertaken by the Duke and Duchess to date, given the logistical and security considerations. Pakistan hosts one of Britain's largest overseas networks, with the British High Commission in Islamabad being one of the UK's largest diplomatic missions in the world. The visit is certain to strengthen the historic ties between the two countries especially as Britain has the largest Pakistani community in Europe of over a million people. While the security picture in Pakistan has improved in recent years, a terrorist attack in Pulwama in February has heightened tensions in the region. The Foreign and Commonwealth Office FCO, currently advises Britons against travelling to certain areas of Pakistan. Royal and diplomatic sources reiterate that a history going back hundreds of years has engendered a vast number of connections between the people and the governments of both countries. There are 1.5 million people in the UK who have family links to Pakistan. And since Pakistan gained independent from British rule in 1947, it has been a member of the Commonwealth of 53 nations that share a link with the UK. Pakistan has also been geopolitical flashpoint that continues to have its own unique security challenges, especially in the border areas with Afghanistan. With that in mind, the couple will also be briefed on the latest developments and see how military personnel from both the UK and Pakistan are sharing expertise to improve the situation.